What's up everyone, this is Travis here with Working Class Garage and today we're going to finally do an updated toolbox tour of my Matco 6S toolbox with the side locker and my Milwaukee cart. This is going to be as quick a tour as I can possibly do and it's still probably going to be really long because there's a lot of stuff to cover here. So um, if you see anything in this box that you want more information on, uh, make sure to ask in the comments and I will do my best to address those um, comments. And also I do have an Amazon store that will be linked down below and you can pick up a lot of the tools you see in this video through that link um, so if you guys see anything in here check that link first and see if you can find it on my Amazon store and uh, pick it up from there all right just to do a look around the outside of the box I do have this little service part over here that I keep a coolant jug on with my vacuum fill in this jug um, I got a couple pumps I use for coolant with a drain pan underneath it uh, and then I just keep my uh, trans fluid and oil um, containers down there um, with the oil funnel, uh, heater core back flush tool. And I got a little battery down there that I keep charged with this little battery maintainer. But that's just a little cart I have. Um, I have the monster underhood light here, just a little paper rack there. I got my little Milwaukee speaker up here. Runs off the M12 or M18 batteries. I normally run a four amp hour battery in there and it lasts about two days. I normally throw this thing on my tool cart and uh, play music from my computer wherever I go around my bay. Um, Milwaukee cart here. Both of these workbenches here are mine. They're, well, they're not, I don't own them, they're the shops, but they're my workbenches to use. Um, trans fluid, oil, little rolling stool and uh, seat, my towels, vice, bunch of BG cans with tokens in the bottom. These are worth like a quarter a piece or something like that. Another bench. I got some work here for tomorrow on this car over here. Uh, so, all right. This is going to be a long video. I can already tell. <laughs> Let's get into the toolbox. So, we'll start in the hutch. So, this box has a center hutch, which is one of the main reasons I got this box because I liked the small center hutch. Because all I really wanted to use it for is my computer, which you can see here. I have a Surface Pro uh, tablet. Um, it's a very nice little computer. Uh, it's nice because our scan tool here at the GM dealership I'm at is a computer based scan tool, um, GDS2. So it's nice because I can just pull it up on my computer here and then uh, take my computer with me on a test drive or whatever, and it kind of works. You can see here, here's our scan tool. It kind of works like a uh, an actual scan tool. Obviously my lease is expired and I need to update that. Uh, I got my little mini Maco toolbox here. Um, clipboard, all that stuff. I got a keyboard and stuff hooked up to it too to make it easier to type. Um, and, and stapler and knives and all that. Um, I got a little thing back there with a bunch of cables and stuff, and then I've got cables and all kinds of stuff in these drawers. Just little USB cables and all that good stuff. But yeah, so that's the hutch. Uh, man, I don't even know where to start. Now, let me get my little step stool so I can show you guys the top drawers. So we'll just stop up, start up here in the top left, I guess. So this is kind of just a random drawer. Um, this is just the Harbor Freight uh, bolt style puller set. I have other puller sets. This is just kind of a 
backup, I guess, or extra bolts if one of them screws up and I need one. I bought it a while back and I've just held on to it. Mirror, UV lights for my, um, or UV glasses for my UV light. A uh, nut splitter to split nuts off of studs. Uh, a little saw, Dixie clamp, my uh, steth stethoscope. But yeah, that's that drawer. This is kind of my break drawer. This has just a bunch of uh, all my air hammer bits in it. I'm not even going to open that up. It's full of air hammer bits. Um, drum brake tools. These are for the GM horseshoe style drum brakes. I got my little uh, automatic tubing cutter. These things are awesome. I really love it. It just works off of spring tension. This is linked in my Amazon store that I was talking about. Um, I got this one off the snap on truck, but the same one is on Amazon. But yeah, uh, parking brake, release tool, tire repair kit. We don't use those at the shop. It's just kind of for my personal use if I need it. Uh, another kind of random drawer. I got my little air vacuum, which is super nice to have. I use it a lot when doing uh, engine work and stuff to suck up debris that's down underneath intakes and everything. That way it doesn't fall into the engine. Um, my little mining vac, uh, hand pump vacuum tool. Use that for a ton of different things. Got this little power steering adapter that I use on the Enclaves and Acadias. Uh, Pitman arm, puller, a uh, crank pulley installer for the LS style engines. That's nice to have because a lot of those are kind of tight down in there. Um, a bunch of uh, three draw pullers, two draw puller, and another adapter for my vacuum in there. This is a bunch of piston ring compressors, all different shapes and sizes and sleeves and adjustable sleeves and the plier style, the old uh, band style, um, some piston uh, rod guide pins, a tie rod tool. This is also kind of a random drawer of stuff. I just didn't know where to put it. Um, this is uh, my little GoPro action cam. It's all in a box. I'll open it up, I'll show it to you guys. A little action cam in a box there. Uh, the GM Ecotech water pump. Pulley, sprocket, holder tool, bearing separator, um, some seal pullers, tie rod tool, tie rod tool, tie rod tool. I just got this recently. It's an adjustable inner tie rod tool, removal and installer. Works really, really well. I like it a lot. It's also linked to my Amazon store if you're interested in that. Alright, so this is kind of my measurement drawer, I guess you could say. Um, I put my Snap-on digital uh, pressure gauge in here just as an easy access point because I didn't really want to leave it in the case because I do use this a lot. So I just left it there for easy access. But yeah, a digital... Uh, dial indicator, then I got a magnetic base for that, then I got an analog one with the clamp style and all that. Um, my tape measure, Milwaukee, these are really nice tape measures. Uh, filler gauge, spark plug gap gapper, um, little temperature gauge, um, digital caliper, a little uh, caliper here, the T-style uh, cylinder gauges, um, little torque wrench for doing uh, turning torque on rear ends and stuff, a uh, little um, level roller thing. All right, so now we're gonna get the right side of the box at the top. We got some strippers, some crimper strippers that are bent, uh, more strippers, this little Matco Otter auto feed uh, soldering clamp tool. It's really, really nice. I like that a lot. Uh, more strippers, a little connector disconnect tool there. These are all terminal release tools. Uh, these are all little terminal release tools. I like this little set right here a lot. Picked that up off of Amazon. The snap on 
it's like these ones over here, only these ones are the straight version, not the bent version. Uh, crimping tools, crimpers, more crimping tools. It's kind of like an electrical drawer. And here, we got a little butane soldering iron. This is my older one. It's kind of my backup, I guess you could say. I got a newer one in my cart that we'll get to. Um, a bunch of shrink wrap, shrink wrap. I don't really use these. I bought these for a project one time that I needed uh, one of the fittings in there for. And I just held on to them in case they're useful. These are the little uh, solder built-in uh, wire connectors. Uh, they seem to work pretty good. I haven't used them a ton. I haven't used them on any customer cars because I don't trust them that much. But I have used them on a couple little projects. These just a bunch of butt connectors. Um, electrical tape, solder, adhesive promoter, some lighters. Um, this is a uh, wire loom kit. It helps you pull wires through wiring loom or put new wires into wiring loom. And it also pierces through things to put wires through grommets or stuff if you need to. So that's that drawer. This is, I got it back up for this. This is my extraction, drilling, break stuff off drawer. Uh, this is the re-threader kit. A bunch of different people make that. I got the Mac version. I got a kind of a cheap tap and die set down there. I don't really use tap and die very often. Um, carbide burst set. Nice little set. Uh, this set here, also a nice little set. Some Matco. Bunch of extractors. You can pick that up from a bunch of different people. I think Erwin might be the one that actually makes that set. Um, this next set is really cool. I haven't got too many chances to use it yet. But the way it works is really cool. It's basically a uh, thread repair kit, but it goes from the bottom up instead of from the top down like most re-threaders. Um, so basically it starts at good threads and works its way to the bad threads. I will do a whole separate review on that. I'm not going to get into that right now. Very cool kit. It is linked in my Amazon store. I'm not trying to promote my Amazon store like crazy. I'm just trying to be helpful for you guys in case you want to check some of this stuff out. Um, a little left hand drill bit set. A little twist socket set. Use it all the time. Um, some cheap drill bits. This is just little cheap drill bits. This is my nice drill bit set. My Earl one set has really nice drill bits. I like those. Um, those are just some weird gimmick sock sockets that someone gave me a long time ago and I've just kind of held on to. Um, some step drill bits. Extra grinder wheel for my grinder. Alright, let's move on. It is hot in here. This is my overflow socket drawer, I guess you would call it. Um, kind of more specialty sockets. It's a little uh, gear wrench set with these long um, wrenches that have the quarter inch bit driver in it. Really, really nice set. I liked it a lot. Um, these are awesome. This is the VIM, the VIM half cut um, bit set. It's got all these stubby bits and then a driver. Those are extremely helpful because they're like half the size as a normal bit. These are the half size foot sockets for the swollen lug nuts, if you've ever dealt with those. Um, these are like twist on sockets for removing uh, damaged lug nuts or wheel locks. Uh, these are tamp, or these aren't tamper proof. These are Torx Plus, and then these are inverted Torx Plus. And these are the new Mac. I forget the exact name of these. If you're interested, just write a comment down below and ask me. But these are the new Mac hex sockets. They're to get rounded hex off. Then the protective sleeve sockets. I work on a lot of expensive vehicles, so those are nice to try to protect the wheels. 
Um, these are tap sockets, and these are the new Snap-on uh, super tight fit sockets. They're actually pretty nice. They're very expensive, but they have got me out of a few situations that not many other sockets could have got the, the bolt off. So I do have to say that they are nice. So take that for what it is. I may do another video on these sockets actually because they are pretty interesting. This is my air tool drawer that I really don't ever come to anymore. Um, besides for my air hammer right here, I get the Mac Tools long barrel air hammer. Very nice air hammer. Um, but yeah. I use the die grinder still, but Milwaukee's coming out with cordless die grinders, so those are going to be probably obsolete too. But yeah, I got a ton of air tools in here. Long reach, cutoff wheel, cutoff wheel, another long reach cutoff wheel, air saw, air drill, air ratchet, 3 8 stubby, 3 8 normal, two. Um, this is the has the LED Mac impact. Both of these Mac impacts are awesome if you're looking for an air impact. Got another little die grinder down here with a carbide bit on it. All right, let's let's hit the socket drawer. That's the drawer that everybody wants to see. So here is my socket drawer. This drawer is absolutely stuffed with tools. Um. I guess we'll start up here. I've got some full sockets back here, a couple different types. These are all snap on half inch. Um, this is a 13 millimeter hex socket. If you've done any uh, cylinder heads on new um, GM trucks, you know why I have that. Um, half inch impacts, these are all various brands. Most of them are Craftsman uh, USA. It's almost completely worn away now, but the Craftsman USA's are actually really nice. Then I got 3 8 deep, mid, and short. Um, Mac, gear wrench, Mac, then impact, deep, short. These are all green pneumatic. Um, I've got a quarter inch T30 and T40 right here. Those I actually use a lot. I picked up separately because I had to special order those because they don't normally come in a set as a quarter inch. Um, some locking extensions, which I use all the time. These are the Matco ones. I've got the long one over here. Uh, those are really, really nice to avoid losing sockets. Quarter inch drive, chrome, deep, shallow, and uh, mid. These are also Mac, gear wrench Mac. I've got quarter inch. Magnetic. These are gray pneumatic, I believe. Or I think they're Matco, actually. Those are Matco gray pneumatic, uh, quarter inch, deep, shallow, uh, snap on, mid length, half inch drive, um, impact sockets, metric, inverted torx. This uh, inverted torx deep, little adapter. Uh, stubby hex, both uh, standard and metric. These are standard swivel quarter inch. Some Allens, uh, ball Allens, the 12 point sockets. This is the only 12 point set I have because I don't really work on much stuff that has those. I just have them just in case I need them because if you need them, you need them. And I have needed them a few times on some used cars and stuff that we get in here. Um, down here, I've got some. Uh, Torx, some long, or I guess mid-length Allens, um, standard and metric. We've got some random sockets there on the end. Uh, Torx sticks set from Snap-on. I like those. I use Torx sticks a lot. I've never had any issues with them. This is just a little random socket set I have there, spline drive. Uh, these sockets I haven't used yet. Uh, they're called more Torx. Um, apparently GM uses them on some stuff, so I picked this set up for super cheap. I just have, I guess, in case I need it. Uh, these are the low-profile snap-on 
three eighths and quarter inch uh, little tire tools to let the air out and mark the tire location. It's a big adapter for my breaker bar that I have on my cart, a little jippy tight tool. Back here we got some inverted torques. Those are a uh, Mac. And then back there we got some uh, Allens. Those are Mac. Those are Harbor Freight, I believe the bigger ones. We've got a 12 point half inch set. Those are Husky um, rear axle lock nut socket for GMs. Um, axle nut sockets, uh, 24 millimeter. Uh, thin wall socket, I use that for the fuel pressure sensor on 3.6 engines. Um, Torx sockets, those are my most used ones, they're Mac. Then the stubby ones, then I got the swivel 3.8 Matco set, they're super nice sockets to have. And the swivel um, inverted Torx 3.8 drive. These are all right, they're a little bulky. I actually ordered the quarter inch drive um, inverted torque set too. They are on the way currently. Um, magnetic quarter inch sockets, those are gray pneumatic. Um, some swivel torque sockets, those are gear wrench. And a quarter inch chrome swivel Matco metric sockets. Most of my sockets are metric, I don't really use standard of anything. Um, mid-length half-inch drive Matco swivel impact sockets, gray pneumatic swivel 3.8 sockets. Um, I got some adapters here, quarter-inch universal adapters. The snap-on ones are by far the best because they are so slim. Um, and they actually seem to hold up pretty well for how thin the sides are. I mean, compared to gray pneumatic, you can kind of see the difference big difference um, then I got half inch three eighths all the swivels now I do really like like uh, Matco ones this is a Matco Matco USA they have the spline drives those are really nice um, I got a little cheapy set half inch short swivels and then my quarter inch uh, gray pneumatic metric Swivel sockets. Those are probably my most used sockets in my toolbox. Uh, snap on regular extensions. Snap on quarter inch. Uh, the Wobble Plus ones that have both. If it'll focus. They have both uh, the straight and wobble on it. I really like these extensions. I have them in the 3.8s too. Um, oil, uh, oil filter sockets. Use those on the Ecotex a lot and some other stuff as well. Um, a little adapter set for Matco. These snap on gold sockets are the best um, torque sockets that I've found so far. They hold up longer than uh, any other ones that I've used. I use the T30 a lot on brake rotors and I snap them a ton. I got this uh, Ulsa Tools organizer over here. For all my, this is basically most of my standard sockets. These are all standard, and these are standard. And besides that, everything else in this drawer is metric. I've got an assortment of uh, long hex over here, ball in and straight in. And then uh, these are three quarter inch drive uh, big sockets. Um, I don't use those very often, but I do use them occasionally. They work very well for uh, driving seals and stuff too. But that's most of the socket drawer. Give you guys a nice pan of it. Let's move on. The wrench drawer. These are Matco long wrenches all the way from eight to 25 the only size that i skip through there is a 20 and a nine which i don't use either one of those but these are uh flex head swivel these are non-reversible and then they have the 
fixed end with a little uh, offset on them. And they are the spline drive, which I, I like quite a bit. They work really well. I don't really have any issues with them. And these are the snap-on offset wrenches. Um, I don't use them a ton, but they do come in handy every once in a while, so it's nice to have them around. And then these are the Matco double-ended flex head ratcheting reversible wrenches, and they're double-ended, different sizes on each side. I love those wrenches. Those are probably my favorite wrenches in my box. Uh, Mac Stubbies. Snap on S, um, gear wrench, flex head, line wrenches. These are pretty nice. Uh, Sun X, um, double ended wrenches, different uh, offset or whatever, if you want to call them. Uh, snap on flink drive wrenches, 24 all the way down to an 8. The only size I skipped there is a 9. Yeah, it's an 8. All the way up to a 24. Then the Matco Flex Head Ratcheting Wrenches. I love this set. They're awesome. The handles are really nice. Um, this set and this set are probably my most used wrenches in here. The Snap On Adjustables. Now, these adjustables are really nice. They have a little little grooves in the jaws and they work really well they're not they don't round stuff like other adjustables do uh gear wrench ratcheting wrenches i've had those forever little pittsburgh battery terminal tools gear wrench line wrenches uh inverted torx ratcheting wrenches little stubby ratcheting wrenches and little mini Wrenches all the way down to a five millimeter, up to an 11. So that is the wrench drawer. Next drawer is my screwdriver and pry bar drawer and a couple other random things. I've got a uh, T-handle Torx in here. These are Cornwell, the only Cornwell tool in my toolbox. I like them. They're really nice. I got a really good price on them when I bought them. A uh, little gear wrench set here. The little uh, mini screwdrivers come in handy sometimes. The little seal O-ring pullers snap-on. Um, the big pick set from snap-on. The flat tip radiator hose uh, tool. Those are really nice. Little Mac pick tool set. I use these all the time. I love these picks. Very nice picks. Uh, I've only ever actually broke one. This one. Uh, long pick set from Snap-on. Long screwdriver set. And then the big screwdriver set from Mac. These screwdrivers are really nice. Um, a nice uh, durable handle. They got the little hex on them and everything. Nice screwdrivers. One of the only green tools in my toolbox, and it drives me crazy because I'm not a huge green person, but I got the Mac uh, pry bars on um, the big 40-something inch pry bar here, all the way down to the little one. Then I got one Matco uh, straight pry bar. Then I got my little Sun X uh, screwdriver. It's got this tip pulls out and flips around. Uh, that's a little ratcheting. Uh, uh, screwdriver some extra little pocket screwdrivers in there uh, let's go this side this is my power door where all I keep all of my battery chargers um, I keep my DeWalt light in here that I don't really use that much anymore I got these little husky lights those are nice little cheap lights uh, my little Milwaukee light little, um, spotlight Really nice light. This is one of my most used lights to have. I love this light. These have little removable batteries and you can charge them in that little charger right there. But I keep this on the charger at night and it's ready to go. It lasts about all day. Little Milwaukee charger for your phone or whatever. 
Um, but yeah. So that's where I keep all that. Oh man. This toolbox door is going to be long. <laughs> uh, I got the snap on uh, bearing race set. Then I got my uh, uh, Power Pro 3 in there. Or no, I don't. I keep my uh, short circuit finder in there. Pretty cool little tool. Um, Mac compression tester, Mac coolant pressure tester. I'm not going to open everything up because it'll take way too long. Um, vacuum gauge. Uh, this is a Matco fan clutch tool. This is a Matco slide hammer set. This is a Matco uh, rear brake caliper tool. All right, we'll move down the middle now. Here is my plier drawer. This drawer is loaded with pliers. I've got all of my locking pliers back there. They're all Mac. Um, hose clamp pliers right here, and I got a set over here too. These are the Snap-on PWZ pliers, um, Sun-X, double joint pliers. Really nice pliers. Sonex makes some really nice pliers. I like the handles and the the look of them and stuff, and they work really well. Uh, rivet gun, big pliers, little mini bolt cutters, Nipex. These are awesome. Um, big adjustable uh, van pliers. I've got all the van pliers in here. Um, I've got a couple more sets over here. Mini pliers, hose pliers, long pliers, extended reach hose clamp pliers, uh, all the Nipex, uh, Cobra pliers, all the way down to the little baby ones, uh, snap ring pliers, all these are snap ring pliers, uh, hog ring pliers, flush cut pliers, hose release pliers, uh, locking chain pliers. There's a lot in here. I'm not going to go over all of it. If you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment. But that's the plier drawer. And while I'm at it, I do plan on doing a more uh, drawer by drawer in depth review. This is just kind of a quick overview for now. Harbor Freight torque wrench, um, little thumb ratchets, little stubby 3 8 Long 3 8 These are all 3 8 right here. Some of them are Mac, Snap-on, Harbor Freight, little mixture. The Harbor Freight ratchets are not bad. I mean, I like them. I've used them, and they're not bad. I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, this is just a cheap half-inch Harbor Freight torque wrench. I don't really use it that much since I got my nicer ones. Uh, I got the Snap-on 300 foot-pound half-inch, and then the Matco 3 8 I use those constantly. I do a ton of engine work here at the dealership. Um, my quarter inch ratchets. I love this little snap on tiny ratchet here. T72. I don't know what the part number is. Um, then half inch ratchets. Got a long uh, Matco flex head, uh, Mac. Harbor Freight, Snap-on, Snap-on, then these are three quarter inch drive, uh, ratchet and breaker bar. I love this little ratchet. This is, uh, no one talks about this tool from Harbor Freight, at least that I've seen of. Pittsburgh Pro, it's really low profile, three inch drive on one side, quarter inch drive on the other side. This ratchet wrench thing here, with some of those snap-on low-profile sockets is a lifesaver sometimes. I love that ratchet. Next drawer is the hammer drawer. Um, these are Harbor Freight hammers, snap-on hammers, the brass hammer, dead blows. 
little brass hammer, some more dead blows. Uh, the Wilton Bash, uh, six pound head, 16 inch handle, I think. That's the, that hammer is awesome. My favorite hammer by far that I own. I use it all the time. Uh, some more sledgehammers. This is just a little soft tip rubber hammer. Uh, the Mac anti vibe hammer. These are really nice hammers too. Uh, snap on, ball peen, and then another sledgehammer. You can never have too many hammers. More box tools. Uh, this is a front wheel bearing tool from Matco. This is a harmonic balancer puller and installer set. Uh, pickle fork set, whatever you want to call it, separator set, you know, just pickle forks. The ball joint, uh, snap on ball joint set. Um, this is an awesome, awesome, awesome tool if you've never used it. Little impact driver. Uh, this is another cheapy impact driver. This is the Matco um, O2 center socket set. Another balancer puller. I use that one all the time on the gym engines. Uh, this is a little mini slide hammer set. An inner tie rod tool back there. It fits in just right. Alrighty, moving on over here. This is just uh, it's a locked door. I just keep all my personal stuff in there. Use this for writing on and everything. Very nice to have. This is my overflow metric wrench drawer. Um, I got wrenches up to 32 millimeters and down to eight. Um, this is a caster camber adjuster tool for uh, GM vehicles along with this. Let's go together. This is the wrench extender. Those are super nice to have. Just take a wrench down at the end of it. You can even put a bore on it too to make it even longer. You might get yourself in trouble there though. Moon shape snap on wrenches. These are Harbor Freight open end ratchet wrenches. They work, but not that great. But they are helpful sometimes. So they're nice to have, I keep them around. This is my overflow standard wrench drawer, along with uh, my special tool there, my uh, Ruger. Uh, but these are all standard wrenches. Um, little Sun X set here, bit set. Nice little set to grab if you need. Um, I guess everything in here at the standard, these are metric. Little blue point, crow foot, uh, reversible. You go at it from a few different angles. Interesting little set. I don't really use it that much, honestly, but it's nice to have when you need it. Crow feet, uh, the line wrench style, and then the regular style. But yeah, that's that drawer. This is my uh, trim tool drawer. This is my favorite favorite trim tool out there. UT. 1B, I think. It's almost worn off, I use it so much. Yeah. But, Mac Tools, trim tool. They updated the handle design, so the handle doesn't look like this anymore, but yes, this trim tool is awesome. I have the short one and the long one, and then the other style. Um, but just a bunch of clip tools, a uh, bunch of tools back there for door panels and stuff, little mini prying tools, plastic pry tools. These are really nice uh, pry tools made by a uh, Mueller, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, I'll butcher it. Uh, they make really good stuff though. Nice little set. But yeah, those are all my trim tools. A bunch of those are from Harbor Freight. These are Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight. You don't really have to buy expensive trim tools, you're probably gonna break them anyway. These are all my punches and uh, files. 
and scrapers. So a bunch of punches back there, all kinds of different shapes and sizes, scrapers, little razor blade holders, files, the Mac, uh, punches with a handle. Those are really nice. These are snap-on uh, brass punches. I got another little brass punch there. Some bearing race uh, punches. Some really long punches over here. Some all come in handy. Another, some scrapers. A uh, little automatic center punch tool. All right, but that is that drawer. This is kind of a random drawer. It was originally my oil filter drawer. Um, these are for the water and fuel sensors on the Duramaxes. Oil filler wrenches, uh, belt installers. These Allen wrenches I just kind of put in there because I didn't have anywhere else to put them. Um, a bunch of oil filter cups. Uh, Toyota style. We use those on some of our the Pontiac vibes. The North Star water pump tool. Um, battery terminal puller, wiper blade puller. <coughs> Got my little Nikita saw down here. Um, the T handle, hex drivers, the ball in and regular. Brake caliper compressor, uh, Milwaukee hole saw set, the hub shocker. This tool is awesome. As you can tell, I beat the crap out of it. But it just mounts to the hub. Like so. I'll show you right here. I'm actually putting hubs on this. Mounts to that and gives you some leverage to knock it off. If you live anywhere where there's rust, you need one of those. They're amazing. Uh, then I got my DeWalt die grinder right there. So that was all of the box. Let's move to the locker. All right, so here is the locker. It has a motion activated light on it. So there, there's a look at it. Right here, I've got a little snap-on test lead holder. I've got a lot of my test leads hanging here. That way I can just grab them and go. That makes it a lot easier when I'm doing uh, my uh, diagnostic work. Uh, I don't even know where to start in here. I'm just gonna kind of go brief over this because there's a lot of stuff in here. These are spark, spark plug sockets. This is the serpentine belt tool. Oil pressure gauge set. Um, this is the master fuel pressure tester. Up here, I got the master relay tester set. Um, the gear puller set. A lot of these are pullers and bearing sets. Slide hammer puller, a bunch of different pullers. This is a uh, cam seal, uh, crank seal, installer set. Steering wheel service kit. Rear axle uh, bearing puller. It's a nice little set. A uh, little blue point master disconnect set. Now, some of these kits like this. Uh, Obviously, you'll see they're Pittsburgh. I don't use them a ton, so I just bought the Pittsburgh ones, and they work good and uh, completely sufficient for how much I use them. <clears throat> Down here, I use this set nonstop, removing wheel locks from customers that lose their wheel lock keys. I'm like the only one in the shop that has one, so I get told a lot to use that. Uh, this is a little five point socket set tamper proof uh, <laughs> here a uh, back pressure tester it's a stud extractor so uh, master bolt grip set from OTC Mac tools power steering um, fully remover 
I've got a ton of stuff came back here. The Fuse Saver Master Kit. This is really cool. Check that out. Um, this is a AC leak detector. This is a... Actually, I was just using this. I need to flip around. This is a 1.4 uh, timing tool set. 1.8 timing tool set. This is a uh, little cheapy compression tester. I mainly just keep it for the fittings and stuff. This is a leak down tester right here. This is a uh, master key lug nut set. This is a brake uh, flaring tool. I believe this is a Noid light set. Yeah, this is a Noid light set. And this is a uh, uh, oxygen sensor, like sensor socket set. Has the oil pressure sending unit socket in it. This, I'm starting to stack boxes here. It's getting unsteady. This one is a uh, pinion bearing installer. Hook it up to your air hammer. Install a uh, pinion bearing races and all that. Really nice tool. All right, next drawer down, we got the Mini Dr. Venom. I just recently picked this up and it is amazing. I love it. Love it. But yeah, that's that. Probably do a video on that in the future. Um, I've got some cases back here that I've got fuses and relays and light bulbs and all of that type stuff in. I just keep those back there stored away when I need those. These drawers are mostly uh, all my diagnostic electrical drawers, um, all my adapters for my scan tool and whatnot. My uh, snap-on multimeter, super nice meter. I love it. Uh, my MDI for programming. Like I said, I do work at a GM dealership, so I do a lot of programming. Uh, my Modus Edge which has the two channel scope in it. Super, super nice scan tool. I love that scan tool. And yes, I do use this a lot. I know I work at a dealership, but this scan tool is way quicker than the stuff we use. So I normally grab that as my go-to for road tests and uh, mostly everything besides on like brand new vehicles that I have to use the factory scan tool on. So here's another drawer. This is my old Mac meter, uh, amp clamp, uh, four scope, the amp pound. This is a uh, relay tester, TPMS tool, the GM TPMS tool, uh, thermal imager. So there's all that. Uh, a little jump pack, mini jump pack. Uh, the Power Pro 3, um, some wire piercers, uh, scope on a rope. Um, this is a little uh, 5 volt um, power reducer for your Power Probe. It takes the signal down to a 5 volt so you can check 5 volt references and stuff. Pretty cool little tool. Got the trailer testers and then the terminal cleaners for the trailer wiring. Uh, snap-on uh, multi-probe. I love this tool. It's a very powerful tool if you know how to use it. Um, little cheap breakout box comes in handy often. Um, I'll probably upgrade to the OTC one eventually, but this one works for now. The only thing I don't like about this is they have the both the grounds tied to one circuit. A uh, little OBD connector for a little phone scan tool. Um, my little test light that I made, it's nice for uh, testing uh, the load on the circuit and stuff. Uh, little battery terminal tools, a parasitic draw clamp with the built-in fuses, pretty nice little tool. Uh, this is the first little meter I got back in the day. Um, it's kind of funny actually. I just keep it around because I I like it. Oh. Cigarette lighter, 
power and ground tester. That's mostly everything in there. Then here you got my uh, test lead kit that I kind of put together myself. Um, a lot of these test leads are from a website called jumperkits.com. Check them out. Um, I got this old fluke uh, two channel scope. It's a pretty cool little tool. Um, I got, you know, some clamps and everything for that and some more test leads in here and test leads in there for my scope and everything. Mainly all the stuff back here is like amp clamps and low amp clamp, test leads and whatnot. Uh, the snap-on battery tester. And that's about it there. And I've also got the test leads there. I think that's about it for the main toolbox. So uh, we will move over to the cart now. All right, so here is my Milwaukee uh, mobile workstation. I use it as a tool cart. The top does not flip up. It is a solid work top. Um, I actually just got this last week. So it's not completely done yet. Um, I'm still working on getting it exactly how I want it but we'll just give you a quick run through to end the video here. Um, super glues and uh, sealer and zip ties, extension cable, safety glasses, just random stuff. And as you can see, this does have the soft closed drawers, which is really nice. Uh, more just random stuff, razor blades, caps, little miscellaneous recall stuff. Yes, this is a syringe, but this is for a, uh, a recall that Jim had out for window switches. Uh, brushes, little uh, sanding pads for my die grinder. I keep this drawer mostly empty to kind of put stuff in as I'm working. I've got my extendable uh, indexable pry bar back there, um, blow guns, the little vamp pliers, uh, scissors. A uh, hood prop, half inch to three eighths long extension, a little magnet, pickup tool, a couple long extensions. <coughs> this is kind of just my uh, random drawer. I've got these uh, Stillman uh, extended swivel in sockets, three eighths drive. These are really nice. Then I've got the big. Um, Double-ended ratcheting wrenches, 25, 24, 22, and 21. These are made by Platinum Tech. They're one of the only people I could find that make these online. Um, these I just picked up from my Snap-on guy. They're the quarter-inch drive swivel sockets. I have the uh, gray pneumatic set, but these ones are the same style as that adapter I was showing. So they're super low profile around the edges. So I like those a lot, they're really nice. I've got these Ernst um, uh, Bit Boss trays. These are really nice for bits. The Gear Ranch 10 millimeter socket set. It's a pretty funny set. I think I picked it up just because it was funny. It's funny that tool companies realize we lose 10 millimeter sockets enough to make a set just for them. Uh, these Steelman um, swivel extensions, these Husky low profile wrenches, they are actually really cool, I didn't even know Husky made these, but they're just little low profile wrenches, double ended, standard metric, the set was only like 30 bucks I think. Some long screwdrivers I use for prying and stuff, there's cheapies that I don't care if I break. These are all straps and clamps and ties and whatnot, some tape, a little, mag uh, a little magnifying glass clamp, my gloves, a bunch of clips and retainers, uh, brake piston tool back there, heat gun, glue gun, yes I do use this for some weird oddball recalls and everything else. I got some o-rings, both kits, SAE and metric, power for torch kit, 
on the soldering soldering gun, hose clamps. I got the new Snap One butane soldering iron. It's really nice. I like it a lot. That was an upgrade from my old one that was in my uh, main box. All right, so you guys are all probably wondering where are all of his power tools. Well, I moved them all down here. This cart has a built-in rack for power tools, cordless tools, whatever you want to call them. Obviously, Milwaukee. Milwaukee makes, in my opinion, the best cordless tools on the market. So that's where I got all of my cordless tools. I'm not going to go over all of those now. That will be in a whole another video. And then you can see down here I keep uh, just fluids and whatnot. This drawer is pretty deep, which is nice because you can store all that type of stuff in there. My old half inch impact. I still use that sometimes on wheels and stuff. But yeah, that's mostly the cart. There's some more stuff on it, but I'm going to do an updated tour on this cart when I get it completely done. So that will be coming soon. Alright, so that was the tour of my whole workstation um, back here on Slay 2. I've got two racks and a uh, flat stall over here. There's some trash over here I need to get rid of. But that is my whole workstation. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, more of an in-depth drawer by drawer tour and uh, some organization tips and stuff in the future. So be on the lookout for that. This was just kind of a quick tour. <laughs> quick tour. I don't even know how long it is at this point. But uh, yeah, I'm going to do an updated tour of the cart once I get it done, probably in the next few weeks. But yeah, so that's the... The 2019 uh, update of the Macro 6S. It's definitely a lot different than my last uh, tour, toolbox tour video, which was uh, one of the first videos on my channel. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you like this video, and uh, give me a thumbs up down below too. And like I said before, if you have any questions at all of any tools in my box, uh, shoot me a comment down below and uh, ask me. I'll try to get back to you as quick as I can. And uh, also, like I said, a lot of these tools are linked in the Amazon store down below. And uh, they may not be the exact brand, but they are equivalent to the tools that I do have, the ones that are linked. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.